Okay, guys, so as you know, it is that time of the year where we um start the holidays, right? So I'm gonna show you guys how to prep your collard greens for Thanksgiving and Christmas or or for the holidays, okay? So, or any time of the year. Or any time of the year. Yes, any time of the year. So what we got here is some collard greens. I have not, have not, have had like good, 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 good quality collard greens since I left Florida. I'm just saying, so. But we got these collard greens here. They are right, but they, you know, so I bought four bunches because we actually, in my house, like we love collard greens. Mm -hmm. Collard greens is always the first thing that is done on any holiday or any time I cook them. It's collard greens are always done. So we got one, two, and three. Four. We got four bunches, and the only reason I got four bunches got is because the only reason I only got four bunches is because it's just us um, this year. Like literally, it is just us this year. So I got four bunches. I'm going to pull them apart. I'm going to um, I'm gonna pull them apart, and I'm gonna show you how to clean them. Make sure y'all clean y'all area what you're gonna use. Make sure you clean it, even though I still picked up my um. Even though I still got this, just make sure you clean it right here. No one just did it anyways. Because you do it like this. You see how your hair's look? It's supposed to be something like this, so. And then you put it down. And then you put this right here? No, you put it right in the trash. Turn it this way. Yeah, they, you gotta be real gentle with these, Nivea. Okay. She gotta be real gentle with them. Turn it this way. Some people eat the stalk, we don't eat the stalk. The meat the stem. Yeah, you can turn it that way, that's fine. All right, so we are done um doing this so now what we're gonna do is you're gonna roll it you're gonna roll it like a burrito or a taco so you're gonna roll it a burrito. take a knife you're gonna roll it and as you can see like we already got them layered this the big ones are here and the small ones are here we just gotta roll it. And go shop, 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 shop. Roll it like a burrito or something. And shop it. Yep, and chop it. Like that. That's the only sound that I don't like. I know. You're gonna take a pot, you're gonna put some water in it, and we're gonna boil this for 15 minutes, so give me one moment. It is important to make sure when you um, cleaning your collard greens, you have them on cold water. It needs to be cold water. And I also like to clean mine with distilled vinegar, okay? So cold water and just and vinegar or however you you know rinse yours like rinse and mine with vinegar so put it in there oh and i also got my pot my water right there on medium oh, this up. see it's not even a lot It's not even a lot. It's not even a lot. Take the vinegar. Pour. You 
can clean your greens the way that you want to clean your greens. It's up to you. Make sure you get in there. I'm going to show y'all the water in just a moment. So make sure you get in there. Y'all see that? Y'all see this? It's dirty. We're not gonna use this bowl. It's too, 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 too small. Put it. They can spread out more. There we go. All right. I'm gonna take the vinegar again. go through like if I see something I make sure I rinse it off make sure you rinse it off See, this one's still kind of cloudy. Still kind of cloudy. So we're going to do it one more time. We're going to do it one more time. And that's it. All right, one more time. And this time we're not gonna add the vinegar. Oh, this time we're not gonna add the vinegar because we already added it enough. We added it twice. This is just a final rinse. Alright, so we're
And as y'all can see, the water is clear. Y'all yeah, see that? It's not cloudy. Let me do it this way. It's not cloudy. Okay. So this is our final, our last one. And my sink is clean. It, it only took me like 14, 15 minutes to do. So now come Thanksgiving, I don't have to do it. It's already done. Well, the, I, I cut my greens the night before Thanksgiving. So the night before Thanksgiving is done, I'm gonna do it. Cook it I'm gonna cook it on Wednesday. See the water? All right, you all see that? So I'm gonna go ahead and put the greens in there. And you have to do it at a light, at a time. Only water, no salt, no nothing. You're not seasoning it. Only water, we're not seasoning. We're just putting them in here. Don't add nothing. Do not add anything. All right, so we just gonna leave this in here for 15 minutes. I'm gonna do 10. I'm not gonna do 15. I'm gonna do 10. So I'm gonna do 10, leave them in here for 10 minutes. And then um, that's that, y'all. And then I'll come back when they are done and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna bag them up. So the greens are done. Um, so now what we need to do is take them off the stove. Give me one. I was, I was never recording. So I took them from out of the pot. I took them from out of the pot and I put them in back in the strainer here. And so what we're gonna do, we're just gonna let them sit for another 15 minutes um, so they can cool. And then we are going to put them in a freezer bag. So I'm only gonna need one. So we're gonna put it in a freezer bag, okay? I'll be back as soon as these 15 minutes are up.
All right, guys, and that's how you prepare your greens. So now I don't have to worry about um, doing my greens on Wednesday because they will already be ready for me to clean and put them in my crock pot, and they gonna sit overnight. And baby, they gonna be delicioso.